So many people have asked me about what are great options for a microphone kit at a pretty decent price. And usually I would say Rode because they're a great company. But Fifine Technology recently reached out to me with the K037 wireless microphone kit. It's a lavalier kit. And uh, I said, great, let's do it as long as I can say whatever I want about it. They're not paying me, but they sent this to me for free. We're going to take a look at how much $35 will actually buy you for this kit. We'll take a look at see the pros and cons to this. But without further ado, my name is Murray. Let's jump into the video. Hey, dog. Shush. All right, so this is just a quick note whilst I'm editing. You can see if you look down below over here, I've adjusted the volume with different parts of the video because when I'm talking or when Duncan's talking, you can hear that through the other microphone and it's kind of a little echoey. So here's where Duncan's talking. I've kind of turned my microphone down with the audio here so that you don't hear this echo. But just to find a good example for you here, let's take a look at this. So if I just bring this audio back up to normal, and I play it for you, you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, this smells like fish. So you can hear that echo. If I play it without it, then you can take a look here. Oh, this smells like fish. So it definitely takes away the echo when you're editing here. And this is just so that you understand the experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final result in just a second. One other thing I want you to note is that without any editing whatsoever, you can hear that there's a little bit of hiss. Uh, just to find a clean spot over here. If I take this down, just with this audio here, this is from my microphone with the Fifine. Let's take a look and see what it sounds like. So you can see there's a little bit of static um, that's built in with the microphone. This is with the audio levels brought up to normal. So take a look here. I wonder why. So you can see my audio level is fine. There's just a bit of audio hiss. And so you'll have to reduce the audio hiss in your effects here. I'll show you how to do that maybe in another video. Right now is not really the time. But this is just what the raw audio sounds like. Uh, just something that you need to note so that you know the difference between the two microphones. If I, if I reduce that hiss, so let's take it out completely. And then I bring back up the microphone here with Duncan with the Rode microphone Smart Love. If I take that up to normal, you'll hear what it sounds like. So there's no hiss there and there's actually hiss on this other one. So just keep that in mind during this, this test. Um, but I will also show you a couple other things as well that you need to be aware of. So now you'll know why the hiss or the, the fuzziness kind of fades in and out. It's just to avoid the echo when either I talk or Duncan talks. So when the one person's talking, the other person's microphone is muted and vice versa. So just to, just to preface that experiment real quick. So let's jump in and see how these microphones really sound. This thing behaves so much like a real fish. What's wrong with these? Is it stiff? I don't know what the heck happened. It doesn't smell like a normal lure though. Oh, this smells like fish. <laughs> I wonder why. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Get away, dogs. She probably heard you. This thing's so realistic. Oh, watch this. Let me catch the biggest ostrich you've ever seen. <laughs> Whoops. If my thing is untangled. And now it's just swimming like a dead fish. Oh, it does smell like dead fish. Have you caught your ostrich yet? <coughs> Takes patience. <laughs> I don't have that. What is this you speak of? Mm. <coughs> Got one. So as you can tell by that quick microphone test, you can tell the difference between the two. It's not a huge difference, but definitely noticeable, especially to me. Um, so right now I've got the indoor test that we're going to do real quick. I've got the Fifine wireless lovely microphone here, and I've got the Rode Smart Love over here. The Rode Smart Love being $80 and the Fifine kit being $35. Um, now, there is definitely a difference between the two microphones, but that's also because uh, the Fifine kit is definitely a cheap option for you. And the quality isn't that bad. It's pretty decent, to be honest. Um, obviously, with the Rode microphone, it's more professional. Uh, the audio is a little bit more crisp. 
But one thing that the Rode SmartLav doesn't do that the Fifine wireless microphone kit can do is you can plug it in straight into this. Your recorder, whichever recorder you have, you can plug it through here. You can also plug it through an adapter. Uh, you can also plug it into your computer, which is actually pretty cool. You can plug it into the DAW interface as well, or people call them doors, or there's so many different ways you can call it. You can plug it into a whole bunch of different things. Uh, also, if you have a uh, like a speaker at an event, you can plug the Fifine wireless microphone kit into that as well. And it comes with this, here, let's grab it. The whole thing comes with this headset thing. Um, I mean, it just it obviously goes onto your head like this. Very uncomfortable for me. I have I've never used it. I haven't used it once. I don't even know if it works. It probably does, but um, I would never ever use this thing. It's just, I guess, another option you can have, like if you're at an event and you want to use this rather than the clip-on thing. Maybe it's easier to take on and off. Maybe I don't know, but you always have that option. I'm never going to use it. So uh, we're going to also take a look at. Come on. We're also going to quickly take a look at some of the cons of this microphone kit. Um, it's plastic, uh, which is not a surprise to you. You can actually hear it is definitely plastic. Um, I don't like the option that you have to put the batteries in. Uh, I had to go and get batteries for these and this takes AA batteries and the receiver takes AAA batteries. Kind of a little annoying. You've got to get two different types of batteries, but I mean, I can't really complain, it's 35 bucks, um, but I mean, it's, it's definitely plastic. Um, I like the antenna, it looks a little prof professional. <laughs> the microphone, uh, what do you call it? Clip, <laughs> connection, cable. It's also a very professional connection. So that's also something that I liked when I saw this microphone kit. Um, other than that, there's no really any drawbacks to it. We're also gonna do a distance experiment so we're going to see how far the microphone can get before it sounds all choppy or gets out of range so let's go ahead and try that out real quick all right so we're outside now it's slightly windy got the fee fine here and i've got the road wireless smart love um, we'll see how they both sound it's a little windy so we'll see how the microphones work with that as well i'm about 10 meters out from the camera and we're going to see i've also got the little antenna out on the receiver to extend the range so now I'm just going to continue walking and we're going to see how far the wireless lavalier microphone from the Fifine kit holds up. And uh, we'll go back and see how far this, this range has. And I'm just going to, I mean there's dogs on the side there, you can probably hear those. <clears throat> I'm just going to continue walking down the street, right down the middle. My neighbors are probably thinking I'm really crazy right now. Talking to me. Kind of, it's kind of looking at someone talking to them something in the middle of So far, so good, I think. Obviously, the Rode microphone is going to sound good. There's going to be no cutting out and stuff because the recorder is on me as well with my phone. So there's no lag issues or distance issues with that. However, with the Fifine, we'll see how long that lasts. And uh, on the screen here, you can see how far I'm going you can see how far the distance is. So as you could hear, the Fifine wireless microphone kit isn't the best. I mean, it's, it's decent, especially for like events, live events, that's pretty decent. They can plug into pretty much anything. The audio quality isn't gonna be really noticed then because it's live audio um, going out through speakers. So no issues there. For filmmaking, uh, it's a great option. It's cheap for sure. Uh, the quality, isn't where I want it to be honest. Like the Rode Smart Love that I have right now, which is currently plugged into my phone, um, it's currently going. It sounds great. The audio is nice. It's crisp. There's a bit of bass to it. It's not so uh, so tinny and and I would definitely use the Rode uh, Smart Love just because it's it sounds much better. The Fifine kit is just it's not going to cut it for me, but it might cut it for you. It depends on what you want. How, how high is your budget? Is it your first microphone? If it is your first microphone, you wanna kinda of get used to the filmmaking thing and being able to move around and you don't have to worry about being attached to the camera or something like that. It's definitely a good option for you, especially if it's your first time. Uh, if you're a more seasoned filmmaker, I wouldn't recommend this for you guys. 
uh, consider maybe picking up a Rode microphone, um, maybe a shotgun mic or a, the one that I have, the Smart Love. But yeah, just the range for the Fifine kit is not that great. Um, nice thing is with the uh, Smart Love, when it's plugged into my phone, I can go anywhere as far as I want. I'm not going to have to worry about the audio cutting out. But with all that said, if you guys do decide to check out the microphone or you do want to consider buying it, I'll leave the link in the description. It is affiliate link, so I do make a commission off it at no cost to you, so that's nice. Um, but if you guys are interested in more tutorials like this filmmaking, photography, maybe photography, I don't do a whole lot of that. Uh, but streaming, visual effects, editing, all that kind of fun stuff. Consider subscribing, sticking around. I'm going to be making a lot more of those in the future. And remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting. Back to my smoothie. There's chunks in it. No! Mm, that is good though.